Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This will be a three card spread drawing out some messages that may be helpful for you for the upcoming week. I will be using the Shadowscapes Tarot. I will list it in the description box if you're interested in the deck. These will be general messages, so hopefully there is something here that will be helpful for you for the upcoming week. If you'd like to arrange a private reading, all the information you require, uh, email, list of prices, services is all listed below in the description box. Uh, I do want to thank you for being here, Scorpio. It really does mean a lot to me. If you enjoy weekly content and you'd like to see it going forward, please leave behind a like. Alternatively, you're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel um, and I would welcome you with open arms to the YouTube family. So having said that, let's get straight into it, Scorpio, and see what's coming up for you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the upcoming week. Okay, you've got justice. An outcome will be delivered. Um possibly a Libra coming through here as well the justice card eight of cups and the last card you have is the two of pentacles okay let's start off with the justice card okay this does speak of contracts legalities the legal system important documents a decision an outcome or a verdict that needs to be made the verdict is in Scorpio something you've been awaiting for it could be in relation to a Libra this is uh, karmic energy that's coming back to you. Now, karmic energy can come in many forms, Scorpio. It's coming back to you. This is, you can see she's holding the scales against the feather of truth. So there's possibly judgment coming in the form of justice here. So someone's getting what they deserve, whether good or bad, he's Scorpio. So a lot of karmic energy. Libra energy does point towards partnerships. So I do believe some of you are establishing or um meeting someone who is a, a, um, a very strong karmic connection they've been sent to you by the energies that you've met that you've emitted to the universe you're actually receiving this back through the justice card so i do believe karma is on your side however look at these beautiful butterflies it's a card of transformation with the butterflies um coming out of your shell receiving the karma embracing the karma which is really nice uh, an outcome is going to be delivered to you it could be in regards to paperwork, it could be in regards to a review, um, some feedback you've been waiting on, a contract, a decision, um, a decision that needs to be made with yourself and a significant other. You know, it's a collaborative uh, energy, so it's two parties involved because Libra and energy is partnerships, anything to do with another person or organization or company. There's a lot of legality circling around you, which is really good to see. I do feel there's a strong emphasis on that karmic connection because you have the Eight of Cups as well, which is the uh, the search for depth, the search for meaning here. Uh, so, but before I move on to that, I feel like um, with the Justice card here, I, I do think it's... For some of you, I feel as though, now you might be coupled up, you might be already very happy in your job doing something else, but karma is going to send you some sort of opportunity and you'll, you'll genuinely be weighing it up because you have the two of pentacles. So it's obviously something that's going to entice you in some way, shape or form here, Scorpio, uh, with that justice card. It's the ability to take flight and thrive on whatever it is that the universe is sending you, that the laws of karma um, are sending you. Because moving on, you have the Eight of Cups. Now you are the water sign. Of course, this could be another fellow water sign you may be dealing with. Fellow Scorpio, uh, Pisces or a Cancer here. The Eight of Cups is the search for meaning. Okay, it's emotional fulfillment, the search for meaning here. Um, some of you will receive an outcome, but you'll want to explore why the outcome was what it was. For example, some of you might be receiving... Um, a response that says say for example you've applied for a job and you've received a response and it's saying no I feel like you want to answer why you want to seek you seek out the big questions and answer why because the eight of cups is the search for meaning and we don't stop searching until we're satisfied um, so I feel for some of you this there's a search for depth here so either you need to know more about a situation and you'll go digging deep um, an emotional connection, perhaps in a response, whatever this is with the justice, whatever uh, whatever verdict comes to you, um, you're exploring the verdict 
or exploring why things have come about the way they have. Of course, if you're dealing with a fellow water sign, I feel like this person is doing this with you. They're trying to dig deep or trying to search for more meaning or more substance to your connection here or trying to figure out why karma has sent you this person or this event or this circumstance or these places. Like, what is the lesson to be learned here, Scorpio? I think these are the questions you may be asking yourself in the upcoming week. It can also speak of a journey here. Some of you are going on a quest, starting a journey to fulfill something. You believe it's in your karmic order. Karmic order will be restored once you go in and seek that journey, seek that person, have that experience, embark on that trip. So I like this, okay? I think it's, it's good. It's healthy for you. That's for sure. But I'm really more, um, more um, leaning towards the fact that there, there will be an answer it, but you'll question you'll question the answer you'll question the verdict so the verdict is in but will you be happy with the answer will you understand the reasons why this is something that i think that the questions that you'll pose to yourself in the upcoming week but some of you are searching or going deeper with someone here especially if it is a water sign i feel like your connection is becoming more um, deeper emotionally the two of you are evolving together and you're starting to feel deeper feelings you're starting to care more that's for sure here scorpio moving on you've got the two of pentacles this could be a taurus capricorn virgo coming through here bit of a juggling act here so i'm not sure if some of you are juggling a few things tasks jobs second income stream in the upcoming week trying to make it all work very effortlessly trying not to drop the ball you could of course be choosing between two different people here like a libra and a fellow water sign could even be an earth sign here you're trying to make it work um trying to make things juggle financially trying to make ends meet it could be this as well or juggling the verdict here, this paperwork, documents, legalities could be costing you quite a fair bit and you're trying to keep it all together. Um, assets, money, finances, incomes, um, expenditure, incoming and outgoing, I think is going to be very um, heightened for you in the upcoming week. But I do believe it's the element of choice, the two of pentacles, the juggler. It's got a lot on his plate. There could be an, if there is an earth sign around you, this person is trying to deal with a lot, okay? You might need to give them space. Um, maybe they themselves are searching for depth. It's hard to say, but I do believe this person is trying to make a lot happen and they're trying to impress you. You know, my first, my first impressions here is that the two of pentacles has purposely put himself on a platform so people can see his mastery, see his work, see his theatrics. So I think in one aspect, someone's trying to get your attention here, Scorpio. They either want you to see that they're going through a lot. So they're purposely doing this in front of you. Um, or it could be the sense where they're trying to impress you by taking on a lot. Tasks, duties, you know, emotions, maybe taking off more than they can chew. But look, so far they seem to be handling it. All right. So they're not dropping the ball as yet, but you know, they've got one they've got one leg to stand on, literally. <laughs> but they're still making it work. They're still making it work to their advantage. So you've you, you've got to applaud them for that. But it could be fickleness, okay, being in two minds about something here. I do believe some of you have two significant relationships or priorities. And these priorities will both call for you um, in, the month, in the upcoming week. They'll both beckon for you. So I feel like your uh, priorities will have to be divided very equally because these things, hand, uh, these things demand a lot of your attention. And it could have something to do with work, legalities, contracts, paperwork, into important documents and um, leg, uh, legal uh, ventures, I suppose, business ventures, but then also um, an emotional connection, a friendship, for example, um, a lover, a spouse may need your attention emotionally because they're digging deep. They could be at a time where they feel lost in their lives and they're going to call, they're going to call on you for help here, Scorpio. So it, A, it's important that you're there for them, but B, you'll have your own things to handle. So look, I do feel like there's a lot on your plate in the upcoming week. You're definitely busy and I do see an outcome. This outcome is going to be very important for you. It's either someone responding to you, responding to what you've said to them, responding to your emotions. Uh, you know, maybe they're responding or you're responding to something they've done. But the verdict is definitely in. Um, and I, I do see you questioning it. I do see you questioning motives. You're trying to understand uh, amongst the grand scheme of things. You're trying to scope out the situation and read into it because you believe there's something deeper here. It, it stems beyond surface level. It's deeply rooted here, Scorpio. And I think that that um, that journey 
will be you exploring these depths in the upcoming week. But uh, look, I will leave it at that, Scorpio. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic week ahead. Um, please don't forget to leave behind a like if you enjoy this video or you can subscribe. Otherwise, have a fantastic week ahead and we'll be in touch soon. Bye for now.